Hello everybody and welcome to part 6 of our Natural Language Toolkit with Python for Natural Language Processing tutorial video series. In this video we're going to be talking about chinking. So in the last video we talked about chunking. Now what is chinking? It's not really separate from a chunk. It is part of the same thing actually. They're not different. So you chink something from a chunk. Okay. So what is chinking? It's the removal of something. So uh, so sometimes you're going to find that as you're building these chunks, you're going to be like, I want this and 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 this. And then before you know it, you've basically chunked everything except for like one thing. So so you can go uh, the other way and you can actually say you want to chunk everything except for something. Okay. So let's see how that might work. So we've got chunks here. Let us, to make things really simple, we're going to change this chunk and this this new chunk will basically be um, a period asterisk and that should be enough actually so anything and then zero or more repetition so this basically means we want to chunk and then oh yeah uh, we'll do that so one or more of just anything okay so this will chunk everything then we do a chink that we want to do so we'll hit enter Base, 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 base. And then you begin the chain. And the way that we kind of denote that is like opposite signs. <laughs> like you've got like open and close curly braces. The way you define like a chain is going to be a close open. Okay. So now, what do we want to keep out of our chunk? Well, we could start by keeping out any um, verb. Okay. So that any verb uh, or uh, preposition or whoops or those uh, what was that I forget what even, I still forget determiner there we go or um, that's good enough we'll do that for now <laughs> and then uh, basically one or more any more of these so this is just any of this uh, get rid of so let's try that chunk for, or well, chunk with a chain. Yeah, so these first few are basically worthless. So let's get all the way to applause. Okay. So as you can see, our chunk, we actually haven't said anything about nouns. Okay, so, but it just knew to chunk these together. Right? So that's good. Uh, we did chunk this too. We don't really want that any, and that there. So we can probably get rid of that. Um, this other stuff, I'm not really sure it's the best organization here. Uh, but it worked <laughs> regardless. I'm actually pretty happy with this uh, little chink here for uh, getting some good noun phrases in for us, actually. Uh, but you know, and then you, you might add some stuff like two or, or something like that to it, but for the most part, uh, chinking is pretty simple once you get chunking. There's not really too much to add to it. Let's just do that. Let's see if that gets us anything better. Uh, and let's do five colon. I think that'll start us off where we want to be. Almost. Right. Invited to. There we go. Uh, return. I'm not sure. I'm is being called a PRP, which is not preposition. It's that personal pronoun, I think. I wonder. I guess that separates that, actually, because I and then am humbled. Okay. So that's why they're doing that. Anyways. Um, so that's chinking. There's not really too much more to say about it, really. Um, Again, it's just it can be kind of confusing with the regular expressions if you're not familiar with them. But if you get comfortable with those, their regular expressions are useful for a lot more than just NLTK. So it's definitely worth it's definitely worth learning them if you uh, if you have the time to sit down. So, anyways, that's chunking. Chinking. The next tutorial video is going to be talking about named entity recognition. So you can chunk to find noun phrases or just nouns even and think, oh, this is talking about that or whatever. But you're going to find that you're going to have some problems with that uh, when it comes to, as we've actually already seen, let's say United States of America, President George W. Bush. It's not actually keeping them together like George Bush. It's not keeping those two names together. It's treating them as two different ones. It's correctly classifying as nouns. But it's not keeping them together. So you can use chunks to keep them together, but you can also use named entity recognition to keep them together sometimes. This is pretty useful from NLTK, but also this is one of the weaker kind of tools that NLTK offers in my opinion as far as 
you know, power and actual functionality of it. It could be really powerful, um, but it's obviously a huge challenge. But it's still pretty cool, especially because it can recognize the difference between things like uh, numbers, like amounts of dollars, a location, name, stuff like that. It's, it's pretty cool, uh, but it misses a lot of times, especially with names and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, that's what you guys have to look forward to. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.